What's going on guys, Tom here, and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to create a very simple toon shader in the Godot engine. So let's get started. Okay, so in Godot here we have a very simple 3D scene. I have a mesh instance which has a sphere mesh assigned to it. And we also just have a directional light here which is pointing down at the sphere giving us some nice lighting here. We're going to click on the mesh instance and we're going to start creating our toon shader. Over on the right hand side in the inspector, we're going to click where it says material. We're going to click on the little arrow here and choose new spatial material. If you click onto that, then you'll get a bunch of properties open here for our spatial material. And we're going to modify a few of these. So the first one we're going to change is if we come into parameters, we're going to change our diffuse mode from burly down to tune. Now you'll see here that that's changed the way the light is impacting this mesh here a little bit. We're also going to change our specular mode to tune as well. And you'll not really see anything there um, because we haven't tweaked the way that specular lighting works at the moment. So we're going to minimize this section here and we're going to come on over to the next one down, which is albedo. We're going to click in the color picker and this is just going to allow us to choose a color for our material. So I'm going to choose uh, a nice bluish color here. Okay. We're going to minimize that one. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to the roughness section here. So click on roughness and we're going to take this down from one. We're going to take it down to around about 0.2. And you can see already that we're starting to get this nice cell shaded look appearing here. Uh, and you can tweak this however you want to get a nicer effect. We can maybe take it down slightly to 0.1. You can play around with this as much as you want. Let's keep it at 0.1 for now. And then we're going to come up to the metallic setting and we're going to play around with our specular lighting. So at the moment it's on 0.5. We can change that to zero, which means we don't have any specular highlights. Or we can change it up to one, which means it's a very intense specular highlight. I like to keep it around about the 0.7 mark here for a tune shader. Just gives us a really nice strong lighting effect there. And I think that is basically all we really need to do um, for the color and shading aspect of it. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our material here. Let's just minimize these two. And we're actually going to come down to where it says next pass. And that's where we're going to start adding the outline around the edges. So to do this, we're going to click on next pass and we're going to choose a new spatial material. Now what this is doing is it's basically running through a sequence of materials here. So we have our original material, which has the color, it has our specular lighting, and it also has our roughness. And then what it's going to do, it's going to run through that and apply that material to the, to the mesh. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run through a second pass of rendering on this object. And, and we're going to use another material to do that. Now we're going to click on this next pass material. And you'll see we get the same properties here. So we basically can uh, create a whole new material uh, to apply to this mesh. And you'll see as well in the editor window here that this next pass material is completely overriding everything that we did before. Now that's fine. We can fix that now. So if we come down to flags, the first thing we're going to want to do is click on unshaded and that's going to take away all of the lighting here because we don't want our outline to be affected by the environment lighting. Let's minimize flags. Next, we're going to come to parameters and we're going to change this call mode here. Now the call mode defines which parts of the mesh are not going to be drawn. At the moment it's saying back, so any of the back faces on this mesh won't be drawn. We actually don't want the front faces to be drawn, so we're going to change this to front. And you'll see here that our underlying material, the one we defined before, has now come back to the forefront. The next thing we're going to do in this same section here is we're going to click on grow. And we're going to give it a grow amount of around about 0.05. And you'll see here now that we have this white outline on the shape. Now, if I move around the shape, you'll see that that white outline stays with the mesh, which is great. Now, all we need to do is come down to the albedo section and change the color of this to whatever we want our outline to be. So typically in a tune shader, we would go for a solid black. And that is it for the shader itself. Uh, we have a nice specular light in here. We have some nice shading and we also have a nice outline. We're going to save this scene. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to come into the mesh instance here. And actually, I'm just going to click on the little arrow section next to the material. And I'm going to press save. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as toonshader.tres. We're going to save that. I'm just going to show you now that you can actually reuse that shader on a different mesh. So let's just drag in this player mesh here that I created for another tutorial. Let's zoom in a little bit and you can see here that we have just a standard shading model 
applied to this mesh. And what we're actually going to do is if we open up the materials, we have one for the body, one for the uh, skin, and one for the face. And I'm actually just going to come down into Toon Shader, and I'm just going to drop that Toon Shader onto the body there. And let's also drop it onto the one for the skin. And there we have it. Now we have a nice cartoon shader on our custom mesh. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do, hit that notification bell to be notified when I release new content. I release new videos every Monday, so don't miss out. Before I go, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Dave from Dave the Dead's YouTube channel. He's creating some amazing Godot content over there, and it's actually his channel that helped me learn how to create this tune shader. So I'd highly recommend you go over, pay his channel a visit, click subscribe. He's got some fantastic content over there that I'm sure you'll love. If you'd like to support this channel, I have a Patreon, link is in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the